The Yaris GRMN is different from most hot hatchbacks of its size, chiefly by virtue of the fact that it has a 1.8-liter four-cylinder 2 Zafe engine, tuned by Lotus, that is supercharged as opposed to turbocharged. It's a Magnus and Eaton rototype supercharger and intercooler system that, in conjunction with a heavy-duty fuel injection system usually found on Toyota's V6 engines and a larger air intake, allows for peak power and torque figures of 209 bhp at 6,800 revolutions per minute and 184 pounds foot at 4,800 revolutions per minute. This considerable output is sent to the front wheels via a six-speed manual gearbox, as well as a Torsen limited slip differential. Five years ago, a limited slip diff would have been a rare sight in this class, but it's becoming increasingly common at a little less than 4 meters in length. The Yaris GRMN is small even by supermoney standards, so fitting that supercharger in the engine bay along with the 1.8-liter 4-pot required the induction system to be packaged in a compact single-stack unit on the front of the engine along with the cooling unit and air intake dotters with the powertrain. The Yaris's chassis has also been subjected to extensive changes. A lateral brace across the front suspension towers provides essential strengthening and a front anti-roll bar that's 26 mm in diameter has been introduced. Reduced. The McPherson strut front and torsion beam rear suspension arrangements are fitted with sax performance dampers, and shorter springs contribute to a 24mm reduction in ride height over the standard car, key to lowering the tall Yaris's center of gravity. Has it been lowered by enough to turn this into a really compelling driver's car, though? We will see improved stopping power comes courtesy of disc brakes front and rear A rear spoiler, central tailpipe, rear diffuser, 17 MBBS alloy wheels and garish shred and black decals help complete the transformation from bog standard Yaris to aggressive and outlandish GRMN specification. The car comes in one color scheme, and this is it. It's a niche look, for sure. It's more hardcore and overtly aggressive than other hot supermanies, but it's alluringly geeky and cultish and it clearly conveys Toyota's desire for its performance credentials to be taken seriously. The standard Yaris has never been applauded for the material quality of its cabin and the GRMN continues this trend. The dashboard is constructed from dark, dull plastics that lend the interior a plain and slightly low rent ambience that is both dated and at odds with the car's hefty £26,295 price. Ultimately, though, the no frills approach means there's less to distract you from the task at hand. The driving and since it suggests that almost every shred of the car's budget has been spent on making the driving experience more exciting, you might even quite like the cabin treatment a set of rather excellent looking Alcantara bucket seats are the most noticeable addition although firm, they're plenty supportive and hamstrung only by the fact that they are plainly fitted too high for an ideal driving position. The GT86 derived steering wheel, or, more precisely, the car's steering column, suffers from similar ergonomic problems, here not quite providing enough in the way of adjustability for reach the sports pedals look the part, but they're not ideally placed for heel and toe gear changes. The Yaris GRMN makes use of a 7.0 in Toyota Touch 2 infotainment system that incorporates features such as satellite navigation, DAB radio, Bluetooth and USB smartphone connectivity it's by no means an outstanding system, being graphically quite basic and not as responsive as units offered by rival manufacturers nevertheless, it is at least fairly easy to navigate and operate unlike an increasing number of other car firms, Toyota has refrained from incorporating all of the infotainment system controls within the touch screen and has instead left physical shortcuts buttons around its edges they're not particularly tactile but their presence makes navigating through the system's numerous submenus far easier when you're on the move. The six-speaker sound system doesn't sound great, getting tinny and a touch distorted at higher volumes with such an interesting soundtrack from the engine, though, this is unlikely to bother owners much the provision of space in the front is good, with the Yaris's taller roof line making for plenty of headroom as a strict three-door. However, the back seats may prove to be a touch too tight for adult passengers to truly sit comfortably on anything other than a short trip to the shops. Still, it's worth noting that, at 650mm, the Yaris GRMN does provide more in the way of real legroom than a Mini Cooper S Works 210 and Peugeot 208, which offer 640mm and 620mm respectively as for boot capacity. 
the Toyota has 286 liters of space. Again outdoing both the Mini, 278 liters, and Peugeot, 285 liters, that supercharger lends the Yaris GRMN a completely different character from the turbocharged majority in the hot Super Mini class. Not only is it down on torque compared with the likes of the Cooper S210 Works and 208 to 30th, which both offer 221 pounds foot, but it's also more of a challenge to access what twisting power it does have considering it's only available up at almost 5000 revolutions per minute. There's a genuine need to really work the six-speed manual gearbox to keep the crankshaft spinning at its sweet spot. Then but because it's a slick shifting and precise box, and one that handles fast shifts easily, and feels well capable of standing, up to tough track day abuse, this is a real labor of love. In fact, that the Yaris GRMN makes you sing. For your accelerative supper only serves to further cement its positioning as one of the more involving hot hatches around the torque deficit doesn't mean the Yaris is slow off the line, either the performance figures we recorded on a drying track show a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 6.4 seconds, which is 1 tenth faster than the Peugeot and 8 tenths quicker than the Mini, which was, admittedly, timed in more slippery conditions. From 30 miles per hour to 70 miles per hour, the Yaris GRMN was also superior, clocking 5.4 seconds next to 5.8 seconds for the Peugeot and 6.0 seconds. For the Mini it's not the easiest car to get off the line quickly, though there's not as much mechanical grip here as you'll find in some fast front drivers, so you need to be sensitive with your throttle inputs in first and second gears get it right and you'll be greeted by not only some seriously quick acceleration but also a properly intoxicating engine note it's a fairly harsh, unreconstructed sounding engine, but its waspish and angry timbre complements this hot Yaris' hardcore character very well and, it is far preferable to the sonic fakery that often accompanies turbocharged motors. Disc brakes, ventilated at the front and solid at the rear, provide the Yaris GRMN with plenty of stopping power too. Stamp on the middle pedal and the 1135 kg Super Mini will come to a halt from 60 miles per hour in 2.89 seconds again. This betters the Mini and Peugeot even if you were willing to meet the £26,295 asking price, you wouldn't be able to get your hands on a Yaris GRMN, at least on the new car market all 80 examples bound for the UK have already been snapped up in fact, of the 400 cars that were destined for Europe, most countries sold their allocations within 72 hours of order books opening those select few who managed to secure one will get a car that isn't exactly brimming with standard equipment, much as they might care sure, there are all the performance oriented trimmings, sports seats, body kit, 17 in alloy wheels and so on, but your traditional mod cons are thin on the ground. There's no cruise control of any sort, the seats aren't heated and although there is an infotainment system, it's a long way from being a particularly good one the car's thirsty, too over the course of our testing, it was exposed to both lengthier motorway trips and heavy footed track driving, recording a total test fuel consumption figure of 27.4 miles per gallon by comparison. The Cooper S Works 210 managed 30.6 miles per gallon as for depreciation, both a 208 and the Mini are forecast to perform better than the Toyota despite its limited production run, the Yaris GRMN is expected to retain only 39% of its value after 36,000 miles and 3 years of ownership.